What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Bundesliga career mode. This is episode number 24 and today we are starting a brand new season at the Schuko Arena. Our third year with Armenia Bielefeld coming on the back of our fantastic second season where we finished in sixth place and qualified for the Europa Conference League. More on that in a moment. So, yeah, great season last year. Really, really pleased with our league finish. Had a great run of form towards the end of the campaign, and sure we got there. We might have missed out on the Champions League on the final day, but all I wanted this season was European football of some sort. We've got it, and our budget for season three is 30 eight million pounds now with wage budget alteration it's probably going to be more likely to be around 36 to 37 million pounds because we know now we're going to attract a higher caliber of player playing in europe we'll put them on higher salaries as well and our objectives reach the last 16 in the cup once again and qualify for any european competition in the bundesliga so that is once again a top six finish however in the europa league our objective is reach the group stage which we're going into anyway, and I've got to be honest, as I run you through the team here for Season 3, this is the second time this has happened to me in this year's FIFA career mode, where we've qualified for the Europa Conference League, but instead we've gone into the Europa League. So I guess my question to you guys is today... Can you even play the Europa Conference League or is it just an AI competition? Because this is the second time it's happened to me in this year's FIFA career mode. And I'm not I'm not going to, you know, look a gift horse in the mouth, sit a mouth here. Look, look a gift horse in the mouth. Look a gift horse in the mouth. We've been given a higher standard of European competition. Of course, it's a lucky break, but... I'm not going to lie, I wanted to play the Europa Conference League. I haven't had a chance to play it yet. It's the inaugural season of the competition. I've qualified for it twice, yet the game have put me in the Europa League. So I'm starting to wonder whether you can actually play it. And it's actually only an AI competition, unless when you load up the save initially, you, when you edit the groups, can put yourself in the Europa Conference League. I'm not sure you can actually qualify for it. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of frustrated about that. Unless I've got the European qualifications wrong in the Bundesliga and fifth and sixth qualify for the Europa League, and winning the DFB Pokal gives the Europa Conference League. Now, my German football fans will be able to tell me whether that's actually the case or not. And I got it wrong, and 5th and 6th is Europa League. But I, I was under the impression that 5th was Europa League, and 6th was Europa Conference League. So, yeah, for whatever reason, we're in the Europa League. Whether I got it wrong or not, whether it's a bug or not, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, we're going to the Europa League this year, reached the group stage, which of course we're going to anyway for Season Free. So heading into season three, you see our squad there. I extended the contract to two of our youngsters and also as well. I went down the list of free agents and I found this guy. And so for my first signing of the new season with Armenia Bielfeld, well, I said we need to attract a higher caliber of player, a player that's got European experience, winner's experience as we continue to assemble a German core. What a steal this is on a five year contract, 30 grand a week in the prime of his career right now. Welcome back to the Bundesliga, released by Paris Saint-Germain. Tylo Kera, absolute steal on a free transfer. Now, I'm not sure just how much better he's going to get at 26 years old, 80 overall, possibly another rating or two, but I'm not going to turn this guy down. This guy has won the Ligue 1 a couple of times. He's won the French Cup a couple of times. Champions League, runners-up as well. That European experience will come in really, really handy this season, our first year in Europe. And Kera on a free transfer. What an absolute bargain and exactly why you should always check the free agents pool season after season. But you go around 35 to 38 million pounds in the budget. I wasn't just going to sign freebies this season, but look for a higher caliber of player, but also improve the squad depth this season as well. Because if we're playing in Europe, we need to improve our squad depth. That's the one thing I really got with Bielefeld. Our first 11 is good, but outside of that, there's not a lot of quality. So I look for a new backup left back this season for Joshua Wagner. And after Freiburg or Relegate, I wanted to continue the trend of signing players from recently relegated sides. Freiburg went down after their relegation playoff loss and Mittelstadt, we signed him, I think it was for around £16 million and at 26 years old like Tyler Carra, 78 overall in the prime of his career right now. He's quick and he's very good when going forward as well. In fact, I'd say he's probably just as good going forward as he is defensively and that's really important to me. I want fullbacks who can operate on both sides of the pitch. He's got a bit of pace. I want to get the defensive work rate up from medium to high and improve the stamina, which is decent, but I like my fullbacks with a lot of energy. However, he'll probably come off the bench in this 
be all failed side. Quality in depth is going to be the key this year. If we're going to fight on three fronts, stay in the top six, keep qualifying for Europe, have a better showing in the cup this year, and also have a good run in our first year in the Europa League as well. We need quality in depth. We need much more numbers here in terms of uh, squad depth here, but also European experience. So I thought let's continue the trend. Released on a free transfer by Borussia Mönchengladbach. We've got another German player with international experience, European experience Jonas Hoffman from Dortmund to Mönchengladbach now released he's 30 years old however this guy's still got it 80 overall makes him one of the highest rated players in the team and this guy's always been a really good box-to-box -box player you know very very good when going forward as we know can play on the flanks as well but he's not too bad in his defensive range of stats either so Hoffman in 80 rated but I think just like with middle stat he's going to come off the bench in this team he's got the European experience he's got a lot of international experience capped by Germany several times but I think he'll come off the bench in this team as to not hamper the development of Schaefer and Dardai our DM duo so absolutely buzzing with those two pickups there Kara and Hoffman I wanted more squad depth I wanted European experience I wanted players that mean cat for Germany we've got it a middle stat coming in as well for a better quality fullback on the bench too I'm really happy with how this window started off but following that we did decide to make our first sale of the window now I talked about the lack of squad depth here so selling players probably doesn't seem like the right thing to do but Vasiliadis uh, the Greek midfielder he he's not too bad but to be fair he's in the final year of his contract and now we've just signed Hoffman he's not really going to get any game time and I wasn't going to extend the contract either so for three mil we let him go to KRC again to Belgium just to rise our budget up a little bit and also uh, Noel Neiman as well he's also our contract on the end of the season 68 rated 23 year old he barely played last season after he's out on loan last year so fine letting him go to Medeski for just shy of two mil and also Schultz as well this is our fourth choice goalkeeper now 60 rated 20 years old I don't think he's got much of a future so I sold him for a very cheap fee just to get his contract off the books basically we know we've got three really good goalkeepers Ortega the vet and then of course Schuster with potential to be special and Miles Fila is still here as well but as for new signings continue to look for those freebies and there were several that I found Christoph Kramer Piaka, Ross Barkley, who I was so tempted to go in for, but in the end left him in the free agents pool. And for Joseph Brecolo instead, yet yeah, released in the summer, despite his evident quality. 25 years old, approaching the prime of his career right now, but 80 rated. And once again, it's an absolute steal as the Croatian comes in. And again, we've got a nice German core here with Bielfeld. The vast majority uh, of our players are German, but I don't mind signing other nationalities, but also players that have got Bundesliga experience. As we know, this guy is a Wolfsburg player. He's currently out on loan at Torino. Uh, he's also had a loan spell. Stuttgart I believe as well after he moved on from his native Croatia so he's got Bundesliga experience and plenty of years of it as well uh, been capped several times for Croatia as we know too and Brekolo great play you know so technically brilliant as a dribbler of the ball he's got excellent ball control and on a free transfer as well Again, it's just like Hoffman. Like, I've signed him. He's got evident quality. But I think he's going to come off the bench in this team. Okugawa won the assist title the past two years. And I really like the Japanese playmaker. So, Brekolo, despite being better and younger, is going to come off the bench. And what equality in depth, we're getting it. And the trend continues. Keeping up with those free transfers. The final signing I made to kickstart Season 5 off is this guy, Trezeguet, the Egyptian fan favourite, bit of a fan favourite of Villa Park, the winger, he works so hard, man, and I'm so glad it translates to the game as well, the high, high work rates too, he's got really great stamina, four-star skills, four-star weak foot, he's a lot quicker than the game suggests as well, I'm actually quite surprised that FIFA and EA don't have his pace higher, he's quicker than that, at least in my opinion, I'm sure Aston Villa fans will back me up there as well, he's got a bit of pace to him, so yeah, Trezeguet comes in, released by Aston Villa, and again, I don't know how much better he'll get at 75 rated but he's got some good experience on the international stage and to fill out the squad as well this is what we were looking for here bargain buys free transfers because despite uh, uh, having over 35 million I still wanted to get more numbers into this team and Trezeguet I think is a real hard work and the sort of play you know I really like we also sold Schupf though uh, the Austrian we extended his contract last season for a year but I sold him to Augsburg for two million pounds he works pretty hard he's got great stamina which you know I love but he's 
not going to get a game this season. We've got De Costa and now Middlestat as our backup fullbacks for Aguin Wagnerman. So Schupf now is a fifth choice fullback. He's not going to get a game time at our contract in the end of the season, so I was fine letting him go. And as I run you through the youth squad as we end the season open, I just want to show you this real here. We've lost a few players due to the bug this year, but... Valentin Walter. Keep your eyes on this guy, man. 15 years old, six foot four. What have they been feeding this kid at just 15, 62 overall, and 90, 94 potential? I tell you what, our academy is looking absolutely fantastic. And whilst the present, we're looking strong, we got more depth with this Bielefeld side for our first year in Europe. The future looks incredibly bright. This is the team we got five new signings to kickstart the season off, four of which come coming in on free transfers, a great international, European and winner's experience, and middle stat as a new backup fullback as well. I've got to say, the squad's filling out a little bit now, it's starting to take shape for season three, and with over 20 million still left in the budget and a month to go before the window slams shut, we are far from finished with transfers with this Bielefeld side for season three. But that will end today's episode of the Bundesliga career, my guys, big fan of watching, hope you enjoyed, if you drop a like, much love to you all, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you for the next episode, featuring another new signing in our first games of the season. Season very soon.